Be warned. Stoicism cautions us against these seven types of people. Stoicism is a philosophy that has been around for thousands of years, yet its teachings continue to be relevant in our modern world. One of the key principles of Stoicism is the idea of being mindful of our thoughts and actions and how they can impact our lives. In this video, we will explore seven types of people that Stoicism warns us about and how their behaviors can lead us down a destructive path. 1. The Complainer Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, teaches us the art of maintaining inner peace and tranquility even in the face of challenging situations. One of the key lessons of Stoicism is to not let external circumstances affect our inner state of mind. This is particularly relevant when it comes to dealing with complainers. Complainers are individuals who constantly find fault in everything and everyone around them. They have a tendency to focus on the negative aspects of life and are quick to voice their grievances. Stoicism warns us about the dangers of being around complainers and the impact they can have on our mental well-being. The Stoic philosophers believed that our thoughts and perceptions shape our reality. Therefore, if we constantly surround ourselves with people who complain, we are likely to adopt a negative outlook on life. This can lead to feelings of resentment, frustration, and even anger. In essence, being in the company of complainers can be emotionally draining and detrimental to our overall well-being. Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of the people we choose to associate with and the impact they have on our thoughts and emotions. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control, rather than worrying about things that are beyond our control. This is particularly relevant when it comes to dealing with complainers. Instead of getting caught up in their negative mindset and trying to change their behavior, Stoicism reminds us to focus on our own reactions and responses. We cannot control how others choose to view the world, but we can control how we choose to react to their complaints. This shift in perspective can help us maintain a sense of inner peace and prevent us from being dragged down by the negativity of complainers. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us the importance of gratitude and finding joy in the present moment. Complainers often focus on what they don't have or what's going wrong in their lives, instead of appreciating what they do have. By constantly complaining, they are essentially robbing themselves of the opportunity to find joy and contentment in the present. Stoicism reminds us to be grateful for what we have and to find joy in the simple things in life. This mindset not only helps us to avoid becoming complainers ourselves, but also allows us to be a positive influence on those around us. Stoicism warns us about the dangers of being around complainers. It reminds us to be mindful of the people we associate with and to focus on what we can control. By maintaining a positive mindset, practicing gratitude, and finding joy in the present moment, we can protect ourselves from the negative influence of complainers. Ultimately, Stoicism teaches us the importance of maintaining our inner peace and not letting external circumstances, such as the complaints of others, affect our well-being. 2. The Envious Stoicism, an ancient philosophical school of thought, teaches us valuable lessons about the envious nature of human beings. Envy, one of the deadliest sins, is a common trait that can be found in all of us. It is the feeling of discontent or resentment towards someone else's success, possessions, or qualities. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, Envy is the most stupid of vices, for there is no single advantage to be gained from it. Stoicism reminds us that envy is a destructive emotion that can lead to harmful actions and thoughts. It is a poison that not only harms the person who is envious, but also those around them. Envy is often born out of our own insecurities and feelings of inadequacy. When we see someone else achieving success or possessing something that we desire, it triggers our own feelings of inadequacy and we begin to compare ourselves to them. This constant comparison leads to a never-ending cycle of envy and discontent. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us that envy is a futile emotion because it is based on the false belief that someone else's success or possessions will bring us happiness. In reality, our happiness and contentment should not be dependent on external factors, but on our own inner strength and virtues. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. 
Stoicism also reminds us that we should not be envious of others because we do not know the struggles and challenges they have faced to achieve their success. We only see the end result, but we are not aware of the sacrifices and hard work that went into it. Envy blinds us from seeing the bigger picture and appreciating the journey of others. In addition, Stoicism teaches us to practice gratitude and contentment. Instead of being envious of what others have, we should focus on being grateful for what we have. This mindset shift can help us overcome feelings of envy and lead to a more fulfilling and happy life. Furthermore, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and self-reflection. By examining our own thoughts and emotions, we can identify when envy arises and work towards overcoming it. We can also use envy as a tool for self-improvement by channeling it into motivation and inspiration to achieve our own goals. Stoicism teaches us that envy is a destructive emotion that can hinder our own growth and happiness. Instead of being envious of others, we should focus on our own inner strength and virtues, practice gratitude, and strive for self-improvement. By understanding and controlling our own envious nature, we can lead a more content and fulfilling life. As Seneca wisely stated, envy is the ulcer of the soul. Let us strive to overcome this ulcer and embrace the Stoic teachings to live a more virtuous and fulfilling life. 3. The Impulsive Stoicism is an ancient philosophical school of thought that has gained renewed interest in recent years due to its practical and timeless teachings. One of the key principles of Stoicism is the importance of controlling our impulses and making rational decisions. In a world where instant gratification and impulsive behavior are often glorified, Stoicism reminds us of the dangers of acting on our impulses. The Stoics believed that our emotions and desires can often cloud our rational thinking and lead us to make impulsive decisions that we may later regret. They emphasized the need to cultivate self-control and discipline in order to overcome these impulsive urges. This is not to say that emotions are to be ignored or suppressed, but rather that we should be mindful of them and not let them dictate our actions. Stoicism teaches us to pause and reflect before making any decision, especially when we are feeling strong emotions. By taking a step back and examining our thoughts and motivations, we can better assess the situation and make a more rational decision. This approach allows us to consider the potential consequences of our actions and avoid making impulsive choices that may have negative repercussions. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control and to let go of what is not. In the context of decision-making, this means that we should focus on the process rather than the outcome. We cannot control the outcome of our decisions, but we can control the thought process and reasoning behind them. By shifting our focus to the process, we can detach ourselves from the desire for a specific outcome, which can often lead to impulsive decisions. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of living in accordance with nature and acting in harmony with reason. This means that we should strive to align our actions with our values and principles, rather than being swayed by external influences or societal pressures. By living in accordance with reason, we can make decisions that are in line with our true selves and not simply based on fleeting desires or impulses. In a world where we are bombarded with constant distractions and temptations, Stoicism serves as a valuable reminder to slow down and think before we act. By cultivating self-control and rational decision-making, we can avoid the pitfalls of impulsive behavior and lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca famously said, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. By following the teachings of Stoicism, we can learn to tame our impulsive tendencies and make decisions that align with our values and lead to a more peaceful and content existence. 4. The Gossiper Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that places great emphasis on self-control and inner peace, has many lessons to offer us in our modern society. One particular lesson that stands out is the warning against the gossiper. In today's world, gossip has become a widespread and often accepted form of communication. We see it in our workplaces, our social circles, and even in our families. We may not realize it, but gossip can have a damaging effect, not only on the person being talked about, but also on the gossiper themselves. Stoicism teaches us to control our thoughts and actions, 
and to focus on what is within our control. Gossip, on the other hand, is rooted in the desire to control and influence others. By spreading rumors or talking behind someone's back, the gossiper is attempting to manipulate others' opinions and perceptions. This goes against the stoic principle of focusing on our own thoughts and actions, rather than trying to control those of others. Moreover, gossip often stems from negative emotions such as envy, anger, or resentment. These emotions are seen as harmful and unnecessary in Stoic philosophy, as they can cloud our judgment and lead to destructive behavior. By engaging in gossip, we are allowing ourselves to be consumed by these negative emotions and straying further away from the Stoic ideal of inner peace and tranquility. Another aspect of Stoicism that warns us about gossip is the concept of living in accordance with nature. Stoics believe that we should live in harmony with the natural order of the universe, and part of this is accepting things as they are. Gossip, however, often involves spreading false or exaggerated information about others, which goes against the truth and therefore goes against nature. By indulging in gossip, we are going against the natural order of things and causing harm to others. Furthermore, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of virtue and moral development. By engaging in gossip, we are not only harming others, but also damaging our own character. Stoics believe that our happiness and well-being come from living a virtuous life, and gossiping is seen as a vice that goes against this principle. It can lead to feelings of guilt, regret, and shame, which are all obstacles to achieving inner peace and contentment. Stoicism warns us about the dangers of gossip, both for ourselves and for others. By indulging in gossip, we are going against the principles of self-control, focusing on what is within our control and living in accordance with nature. It can also harm our character and hinder our journey towards virtue and inner peace. Therefore, we should heed the words of the Stoics and refrain from participating in gossip, instead focusing on bettering ourselves and living a virtuous life. 5. The Victim Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, is often associated with its teachings on self-control, resilience, and inner peace. However, one aspect of Stoicism that is often overlooked is its warning against the victim mentality. This mentality refers to the belief that one is constantly being wronged by others or the circumstances of life, and therefore is not responsible for their own actions or happiness. Stoicism teaches us that this victim mentality is not only harmful to ourselves, but also goes against the core principles of the philosophy. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our own lives and actions. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This statement highlights the Stoic belief that we have control over our own thoughts and emotions, and that it is our reaction to external events that ultimately determines our well-being. By constantly playing the victim, we give away this control and allow external factors to dictate our happiness. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control and let go of what is not. The victim mentality, however, often leads us to focus on things that are out of our control, such as the actions of others or the hand that life has dealt us. This can lead to feelings of resentment, anger, and helplessness, which are all detrimental to our mental and emotional well-being. Stoicism reminds us that we cannot control the actions of others, but we can control our own reactions and choices. Moreover, the victim mentality goes against the Stoic principle of accepting the present moment. When we constantly see ourselves as victims, we are living in the past, dwelling on past injustices or hardships. This not only prevents us from moving on and finding peace in the present moment, but it also goes against the Stoic belief in accepting what is and finding contentment in the present moment. Stoicism also teaches us the importance of taking action and facing challenges head on. By constantly playing the victim, we are essentially giving up and resigning ourselves to a life of passivity and helplessness. Stoicism encourages us to face challenges and adversities with courage and resilience knowing that they are opportunities for growth and learning. Stoicism warns us about the dangers of the victim mentality and encourages us to take responsibility for our own lives, focus on what is within our control, accept the present moment, and take action in the face of challenges. By following these teachings, we can cultivate a mindset of strength, resilience, and inner peace, 
rather than one of victimhood and helplessness. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Let us heed these words and free ourselves from the chains of the victim mentality. 6. The Judgmental Stoicism is an ancient philosophy that teaches us to live a life of reason and virtue and to accept the things we cannot control. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is the concept of the judgmental mind and how it can negatively impact our lives. According to Stoic philosophy, the judgmental mind is characterized by a constant need to evaluate and criticize others, as well as ourselves. This constant internal dialogue of judgment and criticism can lead to feelings of anger, envy, and resentment, all of which are destructive emotions that can hinder our ability to live a peaceful and fulfilling life. Stoicism warns us about the dangers of the judgmental mind and encourages us to practice the virtue of non-judgment. This means learning to let go of our need to constantly judge and criticize others, and instead focusing on our own thoughts and actions. By doing so, we can free ourselves from the weight of negative emotions and live a more tranquil existence. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us that our judgments about others are often reflections of our own insecurities and flaws. When we judge someone else, we are projecting our own insecurities onto them, rather than addressing our own issues. This self-awareness is a crucial aspect of Stoic philosophy, as it encourages us to look inward and work on improving ourselves, rather than wasting our energy on judging others. Moreover, the judgmental mind can also create a false sense of superiority and make us believe that we are better than others. This leads to arrogance and a lack of empathy towards others, which goes against the Stoic principle of treating all people with kindness and understanding. Stoicism reminds us that we are all flawed human beings and that no one is perfect. By accepting this, we can cultivate a more humble and compassionate attitude towards others rather than constantly judging them. In addition to causing harm to our relationships with others, the judgmental mind also has a negative impact on our own well-being. Constantly judging and criticizing ourselves can lead to low self-esteem and a lack of self-acceptance. This goes against the Stoic belief that we should strive to be content with ourselves and our circumstances rather than constantly comparing ourselves to others. Stoicism warns us about the judgmental mind and its destructive effects on our lives. By practicing non-judgment and self-awareness, we can free ourselves from the burden of constant criticism and live a more peaceful and fulfilling life. As Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Let us heed this warning and strive to cultivate a mind free from judgment and open to growth and self-improvement. 7. The Materialistic Stoicism, a philosophical school of thought originating in ancient Greece, emphasizes the importance of living a virtuous life and achieving inner peace through self-control and detachment from external factors. In today's materialistic world, where wealth, possessions, and status are often seen as the ultimate measures of success and happiness. Stoicism offers a warning against the dangers of becoming too attached to material things. The Stoics believed that true happiness and contentment can only be achieved by focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, emotions, and actions. They cautioned against placing too much importance on external factors such as wealth and possessions, as these things are ultimately fleeting and can be taken away from us at any moment. In fact, the Stoics viewed material possessions as hindrances to living a virtuous life, as they can distract us from our true purpose and lead us down a path of greed and selfishness. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us to not be swayed by the opinions and judgments of others. In a materialistic world, there is often pressure to conform to societal norms and expectations, to constantly strive for more and compare ourselves to others. But the Stoics believe that true freedom and peace of mind come from being content with what we have and not seeking validation or approval from others. They remind us that our worth and happiness should not be dependent on external factors, but rather on our own inner strength and virtue. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes the impermanence of all things. In a world where consumerism and the constant pursuit of the latest and greatest is the norm, Stoicism reminds us that everything is temporary and that our attachment to material possessions is ultimately futile. Instead, 
we should focus on cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and justice, which can never be taken away from us. In today's materialistic world, where the media bombards us with messages of constantly wanting more and the pressure to keep up with the latest trends is ever-present, Stoicism offers a much-needed perspective. It reminds us to not be consumed by the material world and to instead focus on what truly matters, our character and inner peace. By following the principles of Stoicism, we can break free from the endless cycle of materialism and find true fulfillment and happiness within ourselves. In conclusion, Stoicism warns us about these seven types of people because their behaviors and mindsets can prevent us from living a fulfilling and content life. By being mindful of our own thoughts and actions, we can avoid falling into these destructive patterns and instead focus on living a virtuous and fulfilling life. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control and some things are not. Let us strive to focus on what is within our control and not be swayed by the behaviors of others.